they come, the 10 lanes of the women's 400 IM. And from Thunder Bay, my dad's hometown, 18-year-old Lindsay Pohalski. We'll have lane number nine. Next to her in lane eight, Bailey Herbert from Penticton, B.C., 18 years of age. He's already been in three finals at these trials. Lane seven will be Allison McCoy, 22 years of age, trains at the University of Calgary swim team. She's got great genetics. Her dad was a great runner. Mom was a great runner. I think triathlon might be calling Allison's name in the future. Mary Sophie Harvey, tremendously versatile. Can swim almost every stroke and do it well, so it's a na natural that she's in this 400 meter individually in medley. She won a bronze at the Pan Am. Tessa Sapuha, very late bloomer, really came into her own at the ISL Pro Circuit this winter, this fall, back in Budapest. Sydney Pickram, there she is. Her dad was a professional hockey player, ended up settling in the U.S. She was born and raised in Florida, Dunedin, where the Blue Jays play, actually. Bailey Anderson from Smith Falls, Ontario, trained with the Perth team. You can see Perth written on her cap there. 2019 Pan Am Browns had a successful career at Indiana. That's Victoria Kwan, was on the World Student Games team in 2019. Next to her will be Ashley McMillan, the 17-year-old. Another one for Penticton. Two swimmers from the Kisu Club in Penticton, in the interior of BC. And Nina Mullen will have the final lane, lane number zero in this 10-lane pool, 17 years of age. This is her third final of these Olympic trials. And there are the family members from uh, coast to coast to coast cheering on their family member athletes in this uh, 10 race final of the women's 400. Of course, we'll start with 100 meters of butterfly, two lengths of the pool. 100 meters backstroke, 100 breast, and finish it off 100 meter freestyle. And again, Sydney Pickram, four time medalist at the World Championships, is in lane four. That's the fifth lane from Take the bottom, from this side of the pool. And we are underway. Women's 400 meter individual medley. Sydney Pickram in lane four. Tessa Sapura in lane five beside her. Those are the two yellow lanes. The closer one is Sydney Pickram. And Tessa Sapura is known much better for her on the right hand side of the right hand side of the screen there. She's a back half swimmer. What I mean by that is her butterfly backstroke aren't very strong, but she has a phenomenal breaststroke and freestyle. She can just stay anywhere in the race. She could come challenging home. Sydney Pickram is very good in all the strokes, so she should actually be out in the front basically from the gun. 29-29 for Pickram in her first 50 of the butterfly. And staying with her somewhat is Bailey Anderson in the lane to her left, lane three, and then over in lane five is Tessa Sapulia. The lead could change hands a few times. If not the lead, then certainly the, the placing for second, third, and fourth. The key here is the, is the FINA A qualifying time. 438. The second and third placers, one of them can get that time. Only one spot, remember, because Pickram has already been pre-selected for this event. So only one spot is available. Ashley McMillan, we saw this earlier in the meet. She likes to go out pretty hard. The question is, can she stay with these veterans that are out in front of her? Byron, you mentioned the versatility of Mary Sophie Harvey. She's like a Swiss Army knife. She was in the 200 IM, the 100 back, the 200 free, and top five in all three of those. And she was 11th to work on her uh, uh, long uh, endurance in the 400 free as well. Yes, I'm kind of surprised that she hasn't been able to catch these athletes yet. All right, we're talking about Mary Zofi in lane number six, just above the two favorites at this particular point in the race. That's Sydney Pickram. If she has a weak stroke, it is the backstroke. Sometimes when you have a weak stroke like backstroke, it's better to turn over a little bit faster to try to get the momentum going since technically your pull isn't quite as strong as it is as some of the other backstrokers. Very surprising. This is Tessa Sapuha with a tremendous front end speed at this particular race, but she usually is much better in the back half of the race. This sets her up brilliantly to try to go after that standard. So it is Saplua who will touch and then switch to the breaststroke just ahead of Sydney Pickram. Pickram is a very good breaststroke. There's no question about it. These two women raced actually. I was mentioning that Saplua had a breakthrough in the International Swim League that was held in Budapest in a bubble because of the pandemic. All three of these women raced each other. They're all three on different teams, actually, in that pro circuit, but they raced each other, so they are familiar with one another. So here comes Bailey Anderson as well on the right shoulder of Sydney Pickram. So the three of them are moving well here as 
they get towards the 50 meter arc of this 100 meter breaststroke portion. And touching first is Saplua. Again, her personal best, 438.96. That is very close to the Olympic A standard. And Pickard is trying to track her down there in lane four, but it is still Saplua. Notice the drive forward with Saplua is getting out of her kick. She kicks forward, keeps those hands together, and then starts to feather out a little bit to the wide, to the side in her pole, and then comes right back in a sort of a circular pattern. So coming up on the wall, that will be 100 meters freestyle, two lengths of the pool, touching first will be Saplua, then Pickram, then Anderson. The question is, can either one really, Pickram, it doesn't matter as much, she's already been pre-selected, but can Saplua come back in a 106? That's what she's going to need to be able to make the cutoff time, the FINA cutoff time, for qualification for nomination. She is a good freestyler, so the question is, will her training, the months, the years of training, Working on these splits and work workouts with her coach, does she have that endurance now? Has it been timed just right and just perfectly? Because it is going to be very close. She's going to touch just ahead of Pickram at 4.05.32 for Tessa Saplua, trying to get that Olympic A standard of 4.38.5. She is on track right now. If she can continue at this exact pace right now and hold on to it, she's going to make that standard. Tessa Saplua trying to stay ahead of Pickram and more importantly trying to get that big A standard. It is 438-53. Now Pickram takes the lead. She might touch first. She does, and Saplua gets it. 437-26. Just about 23 hundredths of a second behind Pickram. And what a race for Tessa Saplua. She took it out hard and brought it home hard. Brilliantly swum by Saplua. I think Sydney Pickham's happy to have company in this grueling race, Byron. I think, I think you're absolutely right. Her best time was over the standard. If she did her, if she tied her best time, she was not going to be nominated to the Olympic team. She had to do her best time, and that's a breakthrough swim for Tessa Saplua, a real late bloomer in this sport. Normally, they're big superstars when they're younger and hang on to the international stage. She has actually hardly made many international teams, the Pan Am Games in 2019, but boy, oh boy, she timed it just right, and she'll get like Sydney Pickram. You see those five rings that Sydney put on her forearm? Well, that's going to be waiting for Tessa Saplua if she wants it, she's going to be nominated to the Olympic team with that tremendous breakout 400 individual medley swim for Tessa Sapua. Second place doesn't matter here. It's the time, and she was able to do it. A personal best by more than a second and a half for Tessa Sapua. She set out the time to beat for Sydney Pickram in a sense. Pickram eventually caught her, but they dragged each other to the wall in a very good time. And Tessa Saplua, the 22-year-old, is going to be qualified for nomination to the Canadian team for Tokyo. And I think it's the backstroke that set her up because she's a bit of a weak backstroker, and she took the lead, actually, from Pickram at this part of the race, and that was a huge breakthrough. Good for her confidence, good for her to be in the race, but you want to know what? She also owes it to Sydney Pickram because if Pickram hadn't been there, I'm not so sure Sapua would have finished as strong as she did in the freestyle and raced her so well here in the breaststroke. Like right now, you see Pickram picking it up. Pickram is such a tough swimmer. She reached down deeply and was able to pass Sapua at the very, very finish, but then that made Tessa work a little bit harder, and Saplua was able to get to the wall and get under that standard. That was a bit of a team effort without actually being teammates. <laughs> And now Devin is standing by with Sydney Pickram. Devin? Thank you, Rob. Sydney, you were pre-selected for this event, but you raced it anyway. Why was it important to be in the pool tonight? Um, I think I just needed to, I just have to get back into racing. It's been so long, and so it's really painful to swim the 4 a.m. It's kind of the worst event on day five. It's a bit sting, but um, it was good to get back into racing and just Honestly, I had no time in mind, nothing. Just wanted to execute the race, and so we'll see what it's like and go from there. Just an awesome moment between you and Tessa really pushing each other, and she gets under that Olympic A time. Uh, did, were you able to share any words there or just celebrate the moment <laughs> together 
Yeah, I just wanted to raise her arm up and say you did it. You're an Olympian. And, you know, back in 2016, that was my first Olympic uh, event was qualifying for the 4 a.m. And I honestly didn't go into that trials wanting that event necessarily. It was first back then. And so it was a relief before going into the 2 a.m. to get that event. But I knew those girls were going to try and have the swim that they can to get that time. So I'm glad at this stage they could push me to do a good swim. Yeah, it was great to watch the both of you. Let's go to the big screen now. And there's what Mama again. <laughs> Why don't you two have a conversation? You guys did it the other night. It was beautiful to watch. Mom, good to see you again. What did it look like Thank from you. your vantage point? Oh, it's a great race, great race. I mean, I really, when I when I see you guys race like that as a team, you know, when you can, I feel like you help each other along so much, and uh, that's great. Congratulations to Tess. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we do it for Team Canada, but I think it's worth the mention. Ben and Ryan up there, they just put 11 swimmers up for nomination for the Olympics. That's something to be pretty proud of. And so oh, as wow. Team Canada, we all work together and to get the people on the team that need those swims. And so it's just a team effort all around. Sydney, it is Olympic Day. We are one <laughs> month from Tokyo. Wild. What's coming up for you? It's been such a long haul getting to this point, but we can finally see Tokyo coming into focus. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I mean, one month to go, there's still a lot we can do. I mean, practice tomorrow is the next step and get back on the horse and get ready for Tokyo. I want to know if mom has uh, started to switch her sleeping patterns to watch all the events with the time change. How are you going to be watching? Where are you going to be watching? And how are you going to be supporting your daughter? Um, I'm going to be uh, watching it in Canada. I'm going to go up there uh, in a couple of weeks and then uh, probably drive out to Nova Scotia and uh, watch it with the family, most of my family up there. So looking very much forward to it. We'll just set the alarm or whatever we got to do and, uh, and we'll certainly all be together watching you, Cindy, and cheering you on. We're so proud of you and can't wait to see you again in the Olympics. Yeah, Great having stuff. the crazy Maritimers at my back that are just going to be drinking and partying and excited to watch me swim. I'm going to be a little jealous. I'm missing Cheers. out on some of the fun. Look at her. She's got her glass of wine already. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, my family's great. I can't wait to get back to Halifax sometime soon, but we'll see. <laughs> Outstanding, Sydney. Great to see you. Good luck over Thank this you. next month, and we'll see you in Tokyo. Thank you. Thanks again.